Hey friend, Brandon here from This Is Tech Today. Over the past few years, a lot has changed, especially with the way that we work and where we work. So many of us have had to adapt to working from home, and now so many of us exclusively work remotely, or at least partially remote. In the US, it's estimated that 51% of the workforce will be working remotely by the end of 2021, and 70% at least five days a month by 2025. Then there are all the new jobs people are getting, the side hustles that people are starting, and the 4.4 million people who started businesses on their own in 2020 alone. Whew, there's just a lot going on. If you're like me, you not only obsessively studied and followed the changing work climate, you also bet on yourself and decided to work on a business of your own. For me, I decided to go into full-time YouTube and have been focusing on growing by hiring additional help. But as with any other type of business, there are a ton of risks that not enough people talk about and unfortunately don't really realize that they need until it's too late. You see, cyber attacks are happening all over the place, affecting our everyday lives. They're revealing our personal information, affecting our utilities, transportation, hospitals, and more. Honestly, I've noticed that this is one of the greatest threats that we have today and have personally been investing in stocks and companies over the past couple of years that focus on cyber security. That's because I think it's that important now and becoming even more important every single day. And unfortunately, cybersecurity is not something that only the big companies need to worry about. Every size business needs to take this seriously, especially smaller ones that are often low hanging fruit for hackers. Thankfully, I have partnered with HP Wolf Pro Security and genuinely believe it's an outrageously simple solution to these risks. But I bet a lot of you are wondering, what are the risks? So let me explain what the risks are first. You see, with all these changes to the way that we work, especially working remotely, the workforce is 800% more vulnerable than before to cyber attacks. Because when you think about it, it's so much easier to protect against cyber attacks when you have everyone in one spot and you can afford to have an IT department. But what do you do when you have employees all over the place and it's not natural to ask each other if they actually sent that email to you because it just seemed just a little bit off or you leave your computer unattended at the coffee shop for a moment where it's vulnerable rather than safe in the office. Maybe you're distracted by your kids, a show that you're watching or the one, uh, um, two cats you recently adopted. Cybersecurity is even more difficult for small businesses and freelancers because most don't even think about protecting themselves and if they do, 47% of them don't even know how to protect themselves from cyber attacks. If a small business wants to protect itself, the cost of implementing an IT department or service will make you feel overwhelmed. Trust me, I've looked into it and it gives me anxiety. And unfortunately, that's 74% of small businesses. The scary reality is that those small businesses that experience a cyber attack experience a significant financial hit from lost revenue, the cost of fixing things, or for a bounty that they have to pay hackers. It creates so much damage that it forces them to close down their business altogether. And the worst part is that small businesses are increasingly becoming the preferred target for hackers because we're just not prepared or equipped enough to face them. Now, not many of you may know this, but I used to work in fraud prevention at the largest bank in the United States where I would identify fraud rings, talk to fraudsters, and even set up a few stings. It was wild. When I was there, I learned a lot about those trying to commit fraud, and it's surprisingly similar to what you see in the majority of cyber attacks. On top of that, I have researched, been trained, and consulted by experts in information security on how to protect myself from cyber attacks. And here's the reality. Most attacks go after as many people as possible and go after those that are the most vulnerable and easy to succeed at scamming or attacking. You know, like a bunch of remote workers and small businesses and freelancers that don't have an IT department or know how to protect themselves. It's like a terrible perfect storm and their spray and pray methods unfortunately succeed at finding some victims every single time. Now as for how cyber attacks happen, they are executed in a variety of ways, but most aren't some creepy person sitting on the other side of a computer actively trying to hack into your computer. 99% of attacks are simple emails, phishing attacks, files and programs that compromise your computer and network with a simple click by someone who didn't realize that what they clicked on would compromise them and everyone else on their network. Others are slightly more advanced and involve someone socially hacking you by pretending they're someone that they're not. This is called social engineering and over 90% of data breaches have some sort of social engineering as a component of them. And in the less common instance, they're the creepy people on the other end or physically accessing your device and network to hack you. Unfortunately, within my field, a lot of my peers are getting their YouTube channels hacked and taken over so that hackers can live stream crypto scams to established channels with a large subscriber 
cyber base. And it's crazy how people are trying to hack us and how complicated our solutions are to avoid it. When we investigated what happened to our friend, we learned that his channel was hacked because someone was social hacking him by impersonating a well-known brand in his space through email. In many ways, it seemed typical. They went through all the normal motions of talking about the campaign, what they wanted him to do, negotiated rates, signed a contract, and then they sent him the talking points and a file for him to download. And that, that one little thing is where everything got scary. The moment he downloaded that and opened it up, it intercepted his browser's session to make it look like he was using his browser on their computer, bypassing his two-factor authentication, you know those numbers you have to type in, and his hardware security key. The reality is they got his guard down because they seemed like a real brand. And because of that, they managed to impersonate his web browser session, which logged them into his YouTube channel right then and there, and then they took over. Thankfully, he was able to get his channel back a couple weeks later, but not without a lot of stress, anxiety, and a loss of income. That made a lot of us think of how we would manage to avoid these hacks if all of our typical security methods like two-factor authentication and security keys weren't enough. Do you create a bunch of shell accounts with limited access or have a special Chromebook laptop that isn't logged into all your accounts and is disconnected from the internet except for when you use it and only use for emails? Let's be honest, when there's so much resistance throughout the process, it makes it really easy to compromise your security and make mistakes. And that's why I'm so excited to talk about HP Wolf Pro Security, and it looks like this. This is it. It's an advanced security in the box built into a laptop like this Wolf Pro Security Edition HP ProBook 445 G8. I can just use it normally or give it to anyone I hire without feeling anxiety because I can't put my security focused brain into their head. Instead of creating or paying for an IT service and hoping your employees actually follow their instructions, HP Wolf Pro Security is software powered by artificial intelligence that is pre installed from the factory. You simply turn on your computer, follow the instructions to get your computer going, and that's it. You're protected whether you're logged into the internet or not. You also don't have to worry about updating virus definitions, and you don't have to worry about anyone on your team clicking on or downloading something that could compromise your network, information, or business. When I talked to HP about HP Wolf Pro Security and whether or not it could stop a cyber attack like what my friend experienced on his YouTube channel, they said it most likely would. I asked how, and they told me that it basically isolates everything you run on your computer or reaches out to the network like keyloggers, malware, ransomware, and viruses that you could get from a website or attachment. This is really neat because you'll use your laptop like normal and it'll look normal, but it's almost like your computer is detached from your browser, which is put into this super secure sandbox that anything bad that happens within it can't leave it. That's pretty dang cool and something that most traditional antivirus protections cannot do. On top of that, HP Wolf Pro Security is powered by advanced deep learning AI that is constantly being updated and refreshed to make sure it can predict and identify malware and quarantine never before seen attacks before they can do anything, meaning it can protect you from zero day attacks before they've been identified by cybersecurity experts. That's like having the benefits of experts, researchers, and guards constantly looking over everything looking for anything suspicious and automatically adapting to protect you without actually having to employ them all in your business. And if for some reason something goes really bad, whether by a cyber attack or an employee that accidentally messed up their computer, it's automatically creating an image or copy of your computer that can be restored to quickly and securely. And if something really, really goes bad, the BIOS, or the first thing your computer loads before Windows, is capable of self-healing to protect against devastating firmware attacks. And that's what's so amazing about HP Wolf Pro Security. It's a super powerful, ever-evolving, ever-learning tool that is as simple as me hiring someone new to my team and then handing them a laptop that's good to go, right out of the box. I don't even have to think about it. There are two options for HP Wolf Pro Security right now, a one-year or three-year license with white glove support, and it's available on the Wolf Pro Security Edition HP ProBook 445G8 that I have here. But it's expanding to even more HP devices so they can be protected throughout your devices on your network for your work or your business at home, in the office, or on the go. If you'd like to check out HP Wolf Pro Security or the Wolf Pro Security Edition HP ProBook 445G8, make sure to check out the links in the description. Thanks so much to HP for sponsoring this video. I really think cybersecurity is something that everyone needs to take seriously, especially small businesses like mine. I have personally I recently added this laptop to my arsenal for all of my emails and I love it. It's so simple. So go check it out and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. This is Tech Today. Until next time.